Oh, move? this is like a legit unboxing. Okay, this is like. the official unveiling. Yeah. This is um, this is from an auction. No, I think it's or from a, a mover. mover. So we're opening up box one of H.A. Klug's uh, machine uh, kit. And you've seen everything in here, right? Is there anything here? That's in this is interesting from a usable standpoint, but it's not worth 50 bucks. But I like mm. the um, they're nice catch on the end. Mm -hmm. Hi, Rob. Rob. What's in Wait the box? Wait a minute. What's in here? Open it That's up. what I like. I demonstrate with the camera. Right here. So in here we have a... Um... Oh, that is... It's a nice packaging. It's like a starlight. A... Oh. It's what you told me to get. Is that like a mini planer? Like a edger? No, I think it's a... Um... Yes. Is it a compass? He said, get, he said, look for starlet stuff. Oh, it is. Got a little blade on there. So oh, yeah. it must be something like you, Mark. Hey. Hey, how's it going? Good. Here. Yeah, it's, it's like a, it's a, a almost like oh, a protractor. Cool. Yeah. And Maybe. you can mark the angle. Good well find. Four of them. Of course it is. Huh. Well, that's exciting. The well, first that's thing a good, I opened yeah, up that's is a good sign. What he told me to look for. Look at that. You're blocking the camera. Brown and sharp screw gauge. I'm interested in that. Pocket screw and wire gauge, number 700. Looks like it's empty. No. Oh. Oh, uh, little still handy have gauge the, tool. They still have the... the original packaging. That's Ooh. insane. That's very cool. What is it for? Huh. You do the screw it? and wire gauge. Well, you put your oh. screw in there, pull it all the way over until it stops, and then that's the size of your screw or your wire. So it just tells you it's a standard screw gauge. Is this what guys do? <laughs> We're making new cubes. Is there anything in here that's what interesting? Worth I only said that to my cousin. Worth We're showing my, uh, <laughs> my massive. Oh, these are kind of cool. What is that? Why is it bent at the end? Oh, is it a... What is it? That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, <laughs> that's the biggest downer on Jab I've ever seen. You're giving away all your secrets. Oh, yeah. Decimal, uh, so it's oh, like a slide roll kind of thing, maybe. Okay. I do like these. Oh, what is that? It's oh, little Allen wrenches. This Ooh, is pretty dude. cool. I've never seen one like that. Yeah, All in one end cool. wrench. Swiss Army knife of the wrench idea. system. And if you wanted to, just hang that on the wall. Oh, it is kind Turn of cool. Turn it into cool. a clock. Cool. Yeah. That, huh. that looks like uh, one of those. Uh, wow, look at this. Uh, throwing star? Throwing star. Yeah. How about five, uh, four, or three? are full and one is empty and we don't know exactly what's oh and look they're numbered on the back you've got the size so it's not star it though mm -mm. Oh, it what's like in here oh i've got i've got a couple of hairs on my eyebrows so oh i don't think there's anything great in here that's totally empty that's neat oh wait what's going on here what does that say do not open <laughs> Why here i got it i see pull this one back out now pull the middle this drawer out this. this looks like something I used to use in high school. <laughs> yeah. Huh. Anybody it's have a definitely a tool <laughs> maker's thing. Last week. <laughs> <laughs> What's the brain? There you go. Whoa, look at that bit. Huh. Whoa. Oh, they are doing it. Sorry. That looks like a large. bit that is for countersinking a screw, but I've never seen one that big. <laughs> it's for countersinking the screw? It looks like those. It does. That's a really nice C-clamp. Oh, look, it's actually for calipers. Oh, See, it's yeah, got it a size on here. What do you mean for calipers? It's a cal this show is a caliper. Camera. Show the camera what you're talking this about. This is here. a caliper. This measures the size of whatever. So the smallest is... Oh, I see. It rotates. Right? And then oh, you yeah, put that yeah. in there and clamp it down. And, and so it's measuring, like, for medical... Usually for, like precision like parts what, what there's a maker's what, what mark on here things? if i had my Whoa. readers that's a bigger one this is a smaller one is it a star it that's what we're looking no, at no the it's like a w i have some if you need them sw god look at these they're like oh is this Gendrich? is it this is a tap um a tapping this guy was a like a machinist like this oh okay had to have been right oh, look at this case i mean there's a note <laughs> that he got that adjusted this so one? whatever that thing is. Oh, it has been adjusted. Look yeah. That. It's that like this cool. die. So that is something. 256 die has been adjusted for undersized nails. What on earth? I have no idea. No idea. 
But look at uh, look at this one. Tungsten carbide miscellaneous drills can be sharpened on regular grinding wheel. This guy's amazing. This what is... are these bits for? I don't know. Brian would know. Richard might know. These are tungsten. Maybe David or Brian would know. What is? Does it focus? Why this funny round bit? It looks like the top of the, the buildings that in Russia. Yeah. Right. I think I'm gonna put this in the bottom. Wait. Bird, if this, look, did you see this? It's too tight in one of those. Tungsten carbide miscellaneous drills can be sharpened on regular grinding wheels. That's not cheap. Tungsten carbide drills. All right, we're gonna go back over there. Okay. That may be illegal to. Oh. We have one more drawer though, don't we? We have two no, more just boxes. a few more. Small box. Open and wrenches. That's Ooh. Nice that was just the open wrench. But yeah. look at this bit. That's cool. So this is going inside of some drill press or something. Yeah. This is Jacob's Chuck. Ooh, yeah. That's really cool. So yeah, this what is- What would you do that? Why is well, this cool? goes well, this into goes... a bit, and then this is a chuck, right, to open and close for to your drill. To put a bit in there. To put a bit you in put there. put your bit here? No. No, in here. That's pro that probably goes into like a drill a big press. A big drill press, ah, I would think. Like an overhead or something. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Look at this. Tiny. <laughs> this guy was like fixing. Um, this is the least interesting. I wanted to start fix, with the least interesting. Fixing machinery or here, something. Yeah. All right, I gotta go talk to Robin Tara. Okay. Is something going on I need to know about? No. I just wanted to update the motor. Oh, yeah. I'm keeping He'll be over there. Go on. Yep. If you find cool. anything cool, just shout. Yeah. I think there will be some cool things. Thank you for the YouTube. I'll link to your channel on the bottom. Okay, we're basically gonna put that one up. Go on to number two. It won't take seven minutes for each one of these. Brian, Dave, I don't exactly understand this. I don't understand it at all. It has a built-in, I don't get what the spring would be for. I know, nothing, nothing's moving. Oh, but you can move it here. Huh. I can't see what the brand is without my name on it. Without my glasses, I mean. Hmm. All right, whatever. So this whole piece comes out, a bunch of drill bits. And some brass letters for some reason. Squares and pairs membership tabs. January through December. Oh. This looks like a little blade cutter thing. And they're just old, like Avery labels. I don't know what that's all about. Uh, that's a sharpening stone. This is a six ton jack. I've seen these, I don't know what it is. Oh. This is like a honing. It's not, it feels soft, almost like leather or something. Oh, okay. Um, three wooden handles I could uh, make a hatchet with, maybe. I can blacksmith a hatchet. All right, in here is a mess. 
Oh, this is like a, uh, similar to a chainsaw tool that I use. Oh, more, another one of these guys. Okay, this is an interesting type of plier. Hmm, maybe like a crimper or something. Some kind of square. I don't know exactly what that's for. There's about 50 or more. 40 through 49. They're all labeled. These are like super long drill bits. I don't know why. Maybe for an overhead drill. That's why there's, I don't know why they're so long. No, I don't know. I'm afraid to pull all these out, so I'm just gonna have you have a peek in here to see. Like there's tons of. A lot of drill bits. Super long one. Like I don't know what the purpose is something like that is. Mm. I don't know, this is I'm reaching into a basket that I really don't understand what so this is oh good good file these are very handy to have wire stripper Springfield, Massachusetts. You could adjust the depth, I guess, is how this works. Or the gauge, I mean. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna put this aside. It still weighs a lot. And I'm gonna get the last mystery box here. Jack out, I think. All right, last one. This is cool. Look at this. Oh, cool. A couple of keys for clocks. Here's drawer number one. I just don't know what this stuff is. Assorted keys and things. Some kind of punch, maybe? This says miscellaneous special lathe cutting tools. Oh.
I'm guessing this goes in this leather sheath. I want you stainless special. This guy made it actually. He's got his name on all these. H. A. Klug. He put his name. Oh, he, he um. Hmm. He hammered his initials in. This must be like carbide cutting tools. Anyway, I don't know what that is. Cool, whatever it is. This thing locks down. Whoa, okay. I don't know what this is. He's got the drawers numbered, left number two. The brand seems to be... Uh, I don't know, I'm running out of gas here. Screw extractor. Everything is very greased up. Oh, that's cool. Number 805-17-6 drill. Wow. Okay, there's two of them in there. Everything's oiled up. Just for fun, we got, it says Roller bearing. Okay, I'm not going to open up these roller bearings. Let me get that back. I have no clue what this big, heavy... This thing weighs a pound. That's drawer number two. What's this drawer? Oh, okay. Um, don't know. It's This is some kind of scale, maybe. Um... Here's a another starlet. Starlet number some kind of protractor or something. It is a starlet. Let's see what this is. Tap drill sizes. It's a little guide of some kind. Hello, Camilio. Dated 1937. How are you, sweet girl? I'm recording this for my friend Brian and Mr. Palmer. Any idea what this would be for? It's got his initials in it, name in it. paint is in that the paint is in a couple spots but the top drawer that three um all of my paint i don't i think it's in i think i put it in there i don't know checking that top drawer there all right that's drawer one whoa okay, another one of these things Some kind of scale i guess I don't know what any of this stuff is. Not as cool as what I thought it might be. Okay, did I open that one? Yep. yep. Whoa. Right, number three. It's got his initials in a lot of these. I don't know if it's going to show up, but these are like punches or something. 964. So it's got his initials engraved in it. Looks like a pen. What? There's 
something in there. Okay, maybe this side. Oh my gosh. Super small, I don't want to drop it. I don't know what these are, but that was in there. There's three of them. Hmm, don't know what that is. Another one. Oh, hmm. I don't know what that is. All right, that's that drawer. Almost done here. Three more drawers or so. Yeah, three more. One, two, three. And nothing in this one but a single. Punch of some kind. Once again, with his initials, with his signature on it. Bernard. Just, I've seen these. They, uh, you know, you open things, springs with them. There's another one here, similar. Last drawer. One thing in it. Property of H.A. Klug. Dial indicator. Please save. Hmm. And especially... For Western Electric, it's some kind of gauge. I don't. Oh. Okay, so it's a very fine gauge. Like I'm hardly touching it, and the gauge is moving. Hmm. Wouldn't know what to do with that. Oh, but it's identified. Model C81, Federal Federal Products Corporation, Providence, Rhode Island. That's gonna show up, but. Probably not in this light. And in this box is this thing. I don't know how it would work together. This is where we need Richard to tell us what it is. And that's it. Those are the three boxes. And then one empty box over here, which is just a cool box. It's cool, it's got a leather strap on it. And it's wood on the inside. It slips out. But it's empty. And that's it. Maybe some of that starlet, starlet stuff is worth something. All right, signing off.